My girls don't eat competitively. Well, it's a good thing I'm not your girl then, huh? Oh my gosh, she's disgusting. She'll make me look amazing. <laughs> Such a relief to stuff my face. I didn't have to think about pageants or Stella Rose or Bob. Patty, stop. Why? I thought you wanted me to be a winner. Unless you're just worried about me getting to that. I'm oh, sorry, sir. Contestants only. Better give me a bid then. Switching diets with my mom. For breakfast, I have Raisin Bran. I have English muffins with peanut butter and banana. Thumbs up from me. Needs milk, and what are you, 70 years old? 10 out of 10. Two. For lunch, I have mac and cheese. I have Chick-fil-A nuggets. So good, it doesn't even need sauce. Really dry, how did you fail at making mac and cheese? Nine out of 10. One. For dinner, I have pizza without cheese. I had mahi-mahi with carrots. So bad I couldn't even swallow it. Where's the cheese, you crazy person? For dessert, we both have mint chip ice cream. Mother like daughter. 10 out of 10. This is what I eat in a day as a fast food employee. So I start my day off with a four count chicken mini, which was delicious as always. And then I get a tiny piece of crumble cookie that was left over from yesterday. And then I got a couple of Toms because my stomach was hurting this morning. And you know, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. And then I started making my water, which was just carbonated water, two pumps of peach syrup, and then lemon juice and a liquid IV, which started fizzing all over the place. And then I made my favorite salad when I got home. Y'all can read the ingredients there. And you can never have too much dry dressing it is so good one of my favorite meals ever and i got it with a diet dr pepper which you know top soda and then i got something sweet after and an apple for a snack a couple hours later my mom made some brownies so of course i had to have one and then spaghetti for dinner and that was all good night bye this is what my 60 year old brother eats in a single day let's go for breakfast, he has two scrambled eggs, two pieces of bacon on a sesame bagel, a side of scrambled eggs, and two hash browns. He was nice enough to give my dad what was left in the pan. After having another helping of eggs, he had a third piece of bacon and a third hash brown. Then, as a nice palate cleanser, he had a LaCroix. As an afternoon refreshment, he had a Diet Coke, followed by cheese and crackers over at my grandma's house. To start off his dinner, he had two pieces of chicken piccata, rice, and his first piece of meatloaf. Then, because he's healthy, he had a nice side salad and took my mushrooms because I don't like them. He had his second slab of meatloaf and then followed by a plate of egg noodles with the lemon sauce from the chicken piccata. While we were playing board games, he was snacking on some pineapple and grapes and he was losing so he was pretty frustrated. Then for a nice salty snack, he had some Wade's potato chips and then had his dessert which was apple pie and vanilla ice cream. POV is 3 a.m. and you're severely hungry. So why not make spicy egg boil in your happy house? Holy shit, what that? The color of your face if you don't shut up. <gasps> we only gonna cook 21 eggs, cuz it's just me tonight. Your broke single is tonight and forever. That's sending me. Hopefully to Freddy Fazbear's place. After dumping the secret spicy sauce, Sprinkle all the seasonings you can find in the pantry. While they're cooking, I caught her eating bread in the corner, cackling as she crawled out. I'm waiting. Then offered me the smallest piece imaginable. After seven hours, the eggies look just about ready. But we gonna add extra hour to make sure they stopped breathing? Better safe than sorry. Better silent than sorry. Thought she wasn't eating, but look at her go. Hella spicy like me. Let's pretend we didn't hear anything. Did you not even the fun? After our little taste test, now we marinate these for about two days. Let's make a 1, 10, and $30 burger. The $1 burger is the definition of we have food at home. All you really have is some ground beef and sandwich bread, yet somehow it's not that bad. Kind of tastes like public school cafeteria food, which I'm not mad about. For the $10 burger, we got some real burger buns. And why not splurge with two patties and some cheddar cheese? In and out, eat your heart out. I personally believe cheese does not belong on a burger. It's kind of gross, and it ruins the taste of the patty itself. But this burger tastes like the family didn't fight at the dinner table today, so I'm here for it. For the $30 burger, we're incinerating a filet mignon and turning it into a burger 
burger patty. For the buns, we're using brioche because it sounds fancy. And for the cheese, we're using aged gouda. I'm adding a bit of black truffle oil to the burger sauce. I still don't like the taste, but it ups the price, so fuck it. Finally, we're caramelizing some onions because why not waste 30 minutes of my life on onions? Honestly, you can't even taste the truffle oil over how indubitably good this burger is. The $30 one definitely wins. Putting food on my Asian mom's plate until she gets mad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I say thank you already. <laughs> hey, yo. Bro, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I say thank you. Ooh, what oh. the hell? I say thank you. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Can you, wait, can you get that? Okay, there you go. That's enough. I don't want it no more. <laughs> I do it myself. You think you are doing something wrong? That's why you try to try to give me back now, huh? You try to kiss my ass right now? Eating Wingstop when this happened. Spicy fried chicken tender in big cup of ranch. Cookie dentures working overtime. Oh, she is a thick one. Spicy Korean Q dunked in ranch. Is this too much ranch? Huge plate of voodoo fries. But wait, there's more. Hydrating with blue raspberry tea nutrients and electrolytes. Hot honey rub chicken tender dunked in ranch. Pits dripping like Niagara Falls. Mango habanero sandwich with mac and cheese. I know you'll want some. Louisiana rub wings pull off the bones. Team ranch or team gooey cheese sauce. Mango habanero wings in ranch. 20 snowball cakes for dessert. I actually like camping. I told you. Only for the food. It's the last day, 7 a.m., and we're making ramen. Ching ramen, the good kind. We're ready. First pack, ramen, going in. Second pack, more ramen. No nudes left behind. Let that cook. Let's add the good stuff. Spicy pack, number two. Damn, that smells good. It is 7 a.m. We eat ramen. That smells mad good. <laughs> the survive! Soup base. Second soup base. Now we mix. Ah! Ooh, golly. Yo, the raccoons got into our garbage last night. They Babe. ate a whole bag of marshmallows. Look at what the raccoons got through last night. These were hot dogs and the bookie. Look at their oily little paws here. Savages. Now these. One more. Cabbage. 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 Going in. I brought enoki. At the enokis. We got some hot pot meat and beef tongue. Put that tongue in it. Add the meat and the beef tongue. Baby, you want eggs? Hell yeah. Go get them. Crack. Look at me the assist. <laughs> Go <going> in. <laughs> Second egg. Damn. <laughs> Yo. The egg got to cook. Yo, my stick is going to come off fire. <laughs> and just like that, we done. First bite. You're crazy. Hot. Mm. Oh. Too spicy. Oh no, this is spicy. What is that? Can I try? Spicy rice cookie. No, it's spicy. You have to try kimchi. You're Korean, you have to know how to eat spicy. When you eat with a foodie. No, do it that way because it's already cracked. Yeah, and then slowly pull, pull apart. It's like too slow, but ooh, that's good. Ooh, that was good. Stay, stay still. Oh my god, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go on. This is the worst thing ever. It is. Sorry. Sir, what the heck is this? 
This is not what I ordered. This is exactly what you ordered, Miss. The Lotus Biscoff Waffle. You call this a Biscoff Waffle? Where the heck is the Biscoff? No problem, Miss. Take a seat. I'll come with more Biscoff for you. A few moments later. Miss, you ordered extra Biscoff. Here you go, your extra Biscoff. Sir, I'm gonna need you to stop being cheap. I need extra Biscoff now! Got a problem, Miss? Here you go, some more Biscoff for you. I'm Biscoff girl! I need extra, extra, extra Biscoff! Now this is what I call extra Biscoff. Mm -mm -mm. Today my kids wanted raising cane, so I ignored them and made them birria tacos. For years I've argued that Italian food is superior to Mexican, but I think I'm starting to change my mind. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but Mexican food has had the biggest glow up. Instead of just tacos and enchiladas, people seem to genuinely care about traditional dishes. But as a white guy from New Jersey, what do I know? Traditionally, this dish is made with goat. When the Spanish conquistadors got to Mexico, they brought a bunch of goats with them. They were like, yo, check out these goats. We don't eat them, but they're pretty sick. At one point, they gifted a large herd to the indigenous population. And what a move that was. Taking over an entire country and being like, sorry about that, here's some goats. So the locals stuck it to them and impressed the hell out of them with birria, which actually means useless, which is hilarious. So that's your history lesson for today. Once the meat is seared, we're gonna put it back in this pot and slow cook it for like four or five hours. So if you suddenly find yourself with six hours of nothing to do, this is the perfect meal for you. I never claimed this was easy. I've also never made this before, but I'm convinced I can cook anything. I think it's really easy for anyone who makes cooking videos to tell you that what they made is delicious. But I hope that at this point in our friendship, you know that you can trust me to be honest with you. So when I say this is the best meat that I've ever made, I really do mean it. And because I'm always looking for compliments, I served up a tray of it to our housekeepers and they told me I need to open a birria stand. And let me tell you, after hearing that, my head's never been bigger. I thought the different color tortillas was cool, but after dipping them in the consomme, you can't even tell. I hate when extra effort goes unnoticed. I really wish that every one of you could try these tacos. Maybe you can when I open my birria stand. <laughs> Asian mom road trip lunch gone very wrong. Licked rice drake in black bean sauce. Wish it was longer, but we have 30 more in the back. The recoil is insane. Oh, that's not. Double dipping because we have our own. But wait, there's more. Put out kimbap skunk in black bean sauce. Newton on your face. Don't lie, bitch. Guys, she's smarter than she looks. But that blank stare giving something else. Obviously got one for me. Y'all asking if I swallow. Yes, I do. Vegan queen pulled out fried pork cutlets. Her first time eating meat in three hours. No wonder why she eating like a hyena. Time to break the fast. Rice for the Asian. My teeth stopped her from eating my peppa. But the protein doesn't stop here. Toss me spicy canned tuna. What in the fishiest breath is going on? A meal ain't over without a little dessert. We have five more of these in the trunk. Pops? Yes? Oh my lord! What are you doing? Um, nothing. No, nothing You're doing nothing? Should I be doing something? Corpse, it's Christmas! You love Christmas! It is the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, well nothing's decorated, nothing's crazy, and it's freaking me out! Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay, I just assumed that- Why are you wearing that hat? Well, I wouldn't say nothing is decorated. Corpse? What did you do? I've created Christmas Kitchen. Christmas what? CHRISTMAS KITCHEN! What is that? Oh my god! How? Do you like it? A little.